how to request different user permission inside your application with permission handler package so we will start by adding permission handler package in our perspic yaml file and now inside our main.dart file we have our home screen where we can create an app bar with the title as permission handler for the body part we will be creating a column which will have different list style as children widget each list style will have a leading widget which will be our icon let's say icons.mic in first case also a title as microphone permission then subtitle let's say click to give microphone access and lastly we will leave on tap as empty phone now we will be repeating this list style widget again for different permissions like camera access then our photo library access then our location access and also we will create list style widget for our last two options which will be directly opening the app setting for ios and android and the last function for requesting all the permissions together so here you can see we got a ui part completed and now let's code for our permission handler logic inside our lib folder we will be creating a utils.dart file and inside that file we will first import our permission handler package that we just added we'll start by creating a future function with the name request permission and this function will take parameter like permission which also comes from permission handler package so before we do anything we need to store the current permission status inside our status field and now for this status field we will be checking different conditions like if status is guaranteed or if status is denied so if permission is granted we will be simply printing debug print permission already granted if permission is denied then we'll be awaiting for the permission to be requested and after that permission is requested we will check whether it is again granted or denied in our if else block and lastly for our else block we will write permission denied so let's assign this function to the on tap parameter of our list style widget for microscope permission we will write request permission and provide permission as permissions.microscope similarly for camera it will be permissions.camera for photos it will be permission.photos and for location it will be permission dot location when in use now there is one important thing in this permissions dot photo is working for ios platform only so let's import dart dot io package to check whether the current platform is android or ios and then requesting permission dot storage part instead of permissions dot photo so after you code all this thing you will see plugin missing error which means we need to close our application and perform the basic step for requesting permission in ios and android as well so simply we will go to ios folder and then inside that folder we will go to runner and then there is this file info.plays file and make sure you don't mess with any key string pair or key array pair you can simply add permissions for your microphone camera photo library and location and now the final step for our ios configuration would be editing of our pod file so for pod file you need to copy and paste this line from permission handler official documentation just copy and paste it here but please don't just simply copy paste the code that is written in the original documentation please add this particular line because this will cause issues to some of the users so after you added that line we need to uncomment the permissions that we want to reuse in our application so now the final step would be to open the ios directory by typing cd ios in your terminal and here if you are on an m1 mac use this particular command else for normal mac users you can simply write pod install and that will work fine as i am on an m1 mac i will write this command and wait for the pod file to get all the packages and close the terminal now just simply run the app and you will be good to go we will be requesting all the permission and see the debug console for it So here you can see we got all the permissions granted. The last two step will be to open the app settings and also create a function to request all the permission in one go which will take open app settings function and this open app settings function is directly coming from our permission handler package itself. Now for requesting multiple permission you can create a future function with the name request multiple permissions and inside this particular function we will have a map for all the permissions in which you can also add this platform check for iOS and Android for photos library. So now we just need to request all these permissions and print out put in our main screen we forgot to assign this function so lastly assign them And now if I click on this open app setting list style, it will open the iOS settings and also we can come back and request multiple permissions. If I click on this request multiple permission, you will see in our debug console, we get this output permission granted because we already granted all the permission. Now for Android users, you just need to visit android manifest.xml file in this particular location. And there you need to add the permissions like camera permission, location permission, audio permission and read and write external storage permission. And you are good to go. You have successfully implemented permission handler package for both your Android and iOS platform. Thank you.